Hi everyone, Anna here with BigReader.com and today I'm going to go over with you how to get tenants to use ACH payments, how to collect rent electronically, and how to get tenants to use ACH payments in Indiana. Nine ways to give your tenants incentives to set up ACH. A big thank you to everyone for making this the number one YouTube channel for Indiana real estate. We did it with you all and appreciate you all so much. And where our mission here is to create friends across the world, helping people build generational wealth through Indiana real estate. And where we're also building the world's largest group of special needs, small business owners and real estate investors. So Indiana explains nine ways to get tenants to use ACH electronic payments, steps to set up ACH payments for automatic rent payments and alternatives to ACH and electronic payments for some tenants. So now recently we've covered a lot of banking questions for everyone. We've gone over what type of account to set up for rentals, which banks are best for investors to use, and how to set up ACH and electronic payments. This brings us to our final class on banking for now, how to get tenants to actually want to use ACH and electronic payments. Um, just be sure to check out all of these other videos um, after this one for more help. So this statement comes up as we speak with investors about using ACH and electronic payments for collecting rent. What if my tenants don't want to use ACH? To be clear, there's a difference between not wanting to and not being able to, which I'll cover shortly. But for this class, I'll be going over some of the most epic ways our current VIP list investors told us about when we asked for help with ACH and electronic payment incentives for tenants on bigree.com forward slash people for those folks. And here's what they had to say. So number one, um, rent rate breaks. This can be twice as much as the maximum fee for using electronic payments um, with some third party apps. So in some cases, this is as little as $10 total each month. Um, number two, pet rate breaks. So most landlords charge a monthly pet fee in addition to the monthly rent. Some investors were able to incentivize this by offering less than $15 per month uh, break for tenants that set up ACH and electronic payments. Number three, credit reporting. Some tenants will desire that their rent is being reported to credit agencies each month. While two of the third party apps we talked about in our ACH electronic payment class did this for free. Simply telling your tenants you're willing to do this for them can be an incentive so for setting up an automatic payments um, because it will actually build their credit for free. So number four, credit counseling. In some cases, tenants may need help with their credit and offering credit counseling may be a huge benefit to them, um, offering real help they actually need. Number five, uh, five sorry, carpet or mid-lease cleaning. So some tenants will value having carpets cleaned midway through the lease terms, while others will value a midway through the lease uh, professional cleaning. This will also be a great way to get inside and verify the state of the property halfway through the lease. Number six, offer first rights. Offering your tenants first rights to purchase a rental property can be another incentive for those who are not only desiring to own their own home, but are closer to it financially. We've do also done a ton of classes on lease with options for situations where traditional financing may not work, so check those out as well. Number seven, offer an in-lease bonus. This usually has a previous set dollar amount in cash or item value and needs to be laid out in the lease agreement upon initial signing. Um, number eight, help um, offer to help set up a bank account with money in it. Now, some banks will offer sign-up bonuses to new accounts of up to $300 or more in some cases, but helping your tenants be aware of current offers and helping them sign up for an account with ACH electronic payment usage can be a great incentive for tenants. Number nine, allow cash for keys. Let the tenants know that if they do ACH, you can make it easier to get out of the lease with a potential cash for keys agreement, meaning um, that if they follow the rules, they can actually break their lease and walk with cash. We did a class on this and why it makes sense. Um, in reality, it makes sense to offer this to nearly all of your tenants because in the long term, it will usually mean much more money and ROI for you. So those are nine of the top ways that our people are using incentives to get their tenants to sign up for ACH payments. But what about those who simply aren't able to set them up? So this can happen for a variety of reasons, such as being elderly and not fully understanding the concept, for example. In these types of cases, and as we covered in our class on which banks to, uh, are best for investors to use, a bank that offers in-person deposits without the presence of a debit card can be very helpful. Now, if you have a specific tenant and ACH or electronic payment issue um, that is more situationally based like this, let me know and I'll do what I can to help you guys figure it out. Just give me a text. Um, so make sure your lease agreements clearly outline the incentive or incentives that you choose to use. We've laid out steps one through three in our ACH setup class for both in-house uh, bank transfers as well as using third-party apps for electronic rent collection. 
Also, you can use services like Zelle and other money transfer services. And we've included an ACH authorization that you can download and use for free. Once your leases are up to date, you're legally ready to rock and roll with electronic payments. Now coming up, I'll have a preview for you of those these incentives um, and our always free download as well as the adventures of our Big Ria friends. Also, here's a page at Nerd Wallet, and they keep an updated list of bank bonuses that you can get with you an open account. So you can use these to sign up in that one incentive where we talked about helping your tenants set up a new bank account with money in it as a bonus. So to recap here, we've covered nine ways to, give your tenant, to get your tenants to sign up for ACH payments. We went over the steps to set up ACH payments with your account, and we've offered a few alternatives and help for other tenant-specific situations. Also, make sure to go to BigRia.com and get our list of over 100 free ways to find motivated sellers. We're providing the world's clearest instructions on how anybody on the planet can create a passive income of at least 30 grand a month through real estate and business building. BigRia.com, go there and you'll make the universe smile. Thanks for, so much for watching. Um, remember, you guys can reach me at loveatbigria.com, 317-969-5619. That's my real number, so please text me first. And as always, we'll see you again soon.